and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some four color dread horde to kick off our MCQ testing today. We're going to be playing the four decks over here in ranked today. We'll be playing five matches of each one of the decks that I am considering for the arena MCQ this weekend, uh, this mythic qualifier thing. And so the first one here is going to be Four Color Dread Horde. This, while this may be like the very best of the four decks, um, it's also maybe the most popular as far as what other people will be playing. This could be the most popular deck in the format, um, and it's going to be a deck with a lot of with a lot of people targeting. You know, a lot of people are going to have this this deck in mind whenever they're building their own decks and everything. Um, but honestly, it may be good enough to be able to fight through that. So, um, not sure if I'll be playing. You know, I don't know which one of these that the we'll kind of choose. But we've had a whole lot of success with this deck previously. It just kind of has everything. It has such a great late game, which is what you want in standard. You want your standard decks to have a really good late game. <laughs> but yeah, I have. That's a good good point there, Boots. I have started to see more people play like more Field of Ruins, Assassins Trophies. Uh, cards like that that can punish this four color mana base that does isn't running basic lands. Um, so we'll just kind of we'll kind of try these out. So these these two stained glass yeah these these stained glass planeswalkers are brand new today. They were just in the store. They were five hundred gems each for these stained glass walkers. All right, well, let's give it a try. All right, so Four Color Dread Horde is going to be our first deck. Uh, I don't know. I haven't I haven't had one on the battlefield yet. I would assume that whenever you play it on the battlefield, it's full art stained glass. I would assume so, because the, the Planeswalkers are, are full art normally when you just play them. So I don't know why it wouldn't be. Uh, we got a mirror match with the sleeves. Got the Tamiya sleeves. To go with my Tamiya. Alright, we're really hoping to draw an untapped land here. Tilt. And no, I'm not going to attack with the Paradise Druid and let it get bolted. Hmm. Let's just eat that thing. If I kill it with, with Vraska or Teferi, then like both of those are sitting at one loyalty. Let us see if your talents are. I think just look for command. Alright, I got a command, got another Tamiyo and a Jade Light Ranger over here. So yeah, they are full art with that stained glass window. Let me aid your research. We'll look for a little Teferi now. So they're a teamer deck, huh? I'm known for my you know what I'm not done yeah, this deck is very good our opponent isn't really doing anything you know this is turn six all they've done is played a, a legion war boss so far okay black card's a killer 
That card is a killer. Card is a killer. Wasn't exactly expecting it, but not not too surprised. I'm regretting not being more aggressive with the Chupacabra earlier now. You won't see the end coming until it's too late. Paradise Druids. Ah, uh, Mono Red Crisis with Immortal Suns. All right, I like our opponent's deck. That's definitely like the card that I was talking about last time we played Mono Red Crisis. I was definitely talking about uh, putting in some Mortal Suns in there instead of the Chandras with this metagame. I actually have to gain life to stay alive. Wait, what? I clicked on... Did I not? Did I not click on the Jade Light also? What is going on there? Hmm. Was that like a bug? Like, didn't I click on Wildgrowth Walker and Jade Light? Yeah, I clicked the Jade Light. That's really weird. I don't think we're winning that anyway, but definitely click that Jade Light. Huh. All right, so Mono Red Crisis. Masker Girl is very good against Rekindling Phoenix and Legion War Boss. Take out Golgari Queen. Take out Soren. Yeah, I want to trip my Planeswalkers.
I'm not taking out Command and Tamiyo. May. No, like Command and Tamiyo are just my like like those are like the best cards. Um. I think I'm gonna take out the Paradise Druids with how bad they are to Chain Whirler. I guess I I probably want these cast downs though too. So I could I could trim on. See, the command is like going to be a card that I'm going to need if there is an Immortal Sun out. Like commanding back Brontodon and everything. Maybe I just want Tutor Us. Alright, let's try this. <laughs> I need to splash red in here. Yeah, this is not mono red aggro at all. What's going on? Play my land, please. Thank you. Yeah, mono red aggro doesn't play a steam vents in tapped very often. Yeah, they they want to play into the late game also. <clears throat> Need Tamiya to help me find Brontodon. All right, so we're looking for blue mana right now. Kind of expecting a Chain Whirler here, but also hoping not a Chain Whirler. Because Chain Whirler just completely brick walls me. Alright, no Chain Whirler, that's good. And instead of like ditching a Jade Light to look for like to look for like a land for the next card to try to play Tamiyo, you know, consider it needs to be a blue land anyway. Uh, Jade Light just helps you look a couple more cards as far as lands go. So yeah, otherwise we would have just drawn the cast down and not been able to play it. Now we got this three, this three two. And if they have rekindling phoenix, we got the time waster. I can no longer stand by, and that's more like it. That's how it was meant to happen. All right, let's see if there's a mortal sun next turn. Well, no, let's just no, we we'll just let's just choop. They're at eight. We're just chooping. Silent Gravestone, huh? Silent Gravestone. Hmm. All right, taking out a command for a duress. Yeah, Mini Vraska could munch the Silent Gravestone, and Mini Vraska is not so bad in this matchup, honestly. I was definitely looking at that card. Oh, decided to go with the duress instead, but because like Krasis, you get to munch Krasis, and of course Chain Whirler. Hey, what's up, Necro? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. 
First sub of the day. I appreciate that support there. the lands. Alright, kind of regret not having little Vraska in here. Yeah. I have I have Bronzedon in the sideboard instead of Rex Age. Uh, Bronzedon does just fine at killing a mortal son. But yep, yeah, exactly, Mike. That's that's the thing about this deck. They have like their hate cards and everything, but then it's just these efficient three two creatures that are gaining me mana and everything. Treasure map's gonna be annoying though. To the library. Oh, wrong to fairy. Uh. I was like, it'd be nice to curve into the five mana to fairy next turn. I, I was I was debating on which to fairy to to say. And I was like, I'll just say the I'll say the five mana one, because it'd be nice to curve into that. And then obviously. Obviously it's two of the other Teferis. Ugh. Daggers. I know I noted this somewhere. Well, anything that's like especially good. May I just say Jade Light? I guess I could just, I'll just say Bronted on. Hold that thought. Because, yeah, they do play a mortal son that I can't minus Tamiya to grab <clears throat> a Brontodon. Forgotten. Time Reveler. Let's slow this down. I've got it. Draw some cards. We need to move quickly. Yeah, our opponent does not like our Planeswalker deck too much. Um, I don't... Are there... There's Japanese alternate art Planeswalkers in in Arena? I don't, I don't believe there are. 
There's the sleeves. That's maybe what you're talking about. And of course we got we have we have the command the dread horde at instant speed if we want. They just drew a bunch of cards, duress again. Alright, they got a bunch of nothing. Well I mean obviously Crasis and Phoenix are pretty big. So I can get Chupacabra. Jeez. Really? That's what I was trying to protect against. Bleh. So I went with the Duress there instead of ticking up. Maybe I should have just ticked up and kept looking for Brontodon, I guess. Oh, you're right, I could duress on draw step. I didn't even think of that. You're right, I could have duressed on draw step. I didn't even think of that. Yep. Certainly got punished for not doing that. Yeah, that's my plan. Cast down Masker Girl. And I guess I could have just done them both right then, but... Mortal Sun's card's pretty good. Alright, that thing's a 1 2. Can't even mask a roll that thing. We're gonna have to chew it. We'll chew the Crisis. I'll just take their Phoenix. It's, it's all good. We'll just Chupacabra the Krasis and steal the Phoenix so they don't get it back. So four, eight, I guess I grab this two for ten. I didn't draw step that duress. Mortal Sun's a killer. Should have ticked up Tamio. Looking for Brontodon, I guess. Maybe we need more Brontodons in here. Gone through 32 cards. We have two Brontodons, so you know, like. Um, but haven't seen one yet. Tamiyo, of course, can allow you to... Tamiyo can really help you um, dig through your library, though. Oh, 
Hey, that was uncalled over. for. I like it though. Immortal Sun seems like a really good addition to Mono Red Crisis. That's what we were talking about last time. Phoenix is going to come back and... <clears throat> I'm gone. Speaking of Phoenix, Fallon Phoenix, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub there. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, the deck that I'm playing is Public Enemy number one, so good, good choice there for the opponents. We did a really good job of drawing that Immortal Sun right after I, I duressed, but I could have duressed during draw step, so that's it's also my fault. Yep, mistakes happen. All good. <laughs> What's up, Narinen? Your day's been pretty bad. Aw. I'm sorry to hear that. My afternoon's going really good. And definitely glad you're in here. Nisa. Am I going... No, I'm going Wild Walker. Seeing like if I want to do Paradise Druid, but I think we're just going to try to hit this land drop. <laughs> Thanks, Narnin. Cheers. <laughs> you don't like the Momir event? I had fun with it. I played three games of it earlier today. How they just added Planeswalkers that you just randomly have also. I played. I just played three games, and I got to go first every single time, and I won every single time. I would. I never activated Momir for less than five. Also, in any game. Could use, so like Masker Girl is awesome against Nissa. Could use a Masker Girl up in here. I will protect the virtue of this world. Rise, my elemental friend. What's up, Storm? Yeah, I like that. I liked the Planeswalker addition to Momir as well. I think I'm gonna get the Paradise Druid in play this turn to <clears throat> help increase my mana. You've been playing the Sultai version of our deck that has Nissa in it. All right, here's Krasis. Everybody playing these Krasises these days. Hmm. Like the 
phases of the moon. Time, like wax seek and find. What do I actually want? I want Teferi Hero Dominaria. I grow bored with this fight. I guess I should have made this attack first. That's my bad. I should make that attack first. Well, no, because they have the crisis out there. All right. So the plan for today, we're going to be playing these four decks, uh, trying to decide which one we want to play this weekend in the Arena MCQ. So there's a new Arena code over the moon. Stealing my wild growth walker? Uh-oh. I have learned little here. Be wary of the ground you walk on. All right, I'll I'll add it to this. I'll add it to this command. Okay. This is very good. So do we... Hey, what's up, Narinen? When's the next donation deck offerings? So we just played a bunch of donation decks yesterday. Um, but yeah, basically next next week. Uh, completely free all next week for donation decks. Um, you know, Monday through Friday, anytime. Any day, anytime. I think this is too many cards, but these are like the cards I'm interested in. I kind of want to duress. Them stealing my Wild Growth Walker is really annoying. This is sixty three. Sixty two. Um, <clears throat> I need to edit this. But yeah, Narnian, did you have a donation deck that you would like?
And if so, you just let me know. And any day next week, and I'll get you going. What's up, Zerf? It's going really good today. Going really good. We are preparing for Saturday's MCQ right now. Looking for Planeswalkers. Tamiyo, Teferi. It's kind of what we're looking for right now. There's an MCQ on Arena this weekend. We are currently preparing for... Well, there's a WoW Growth Walker. Yeah, you can just let me know whenever, Narnan. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, you just let me know whenever you want. Oh, right, so I, I've been meaning to... Oh, no frilled mystic? You would make an excellent informant for my study. Interesting. I think you will find my notes helpful. Wow, four lands. Off the top. I meant to put this over here. Um. So yeah, I'll be streaming that Arena MCQ at 10 a.m. Saturday. Let's see if we can get Jade Light. Let me aid your research. we're doing is getting rid of all of our lands. We're just not going to hit land drops. You can get this art in the store. It's 500 gems for this art. Do not harm my scrolls. To the library. All right, we'll clear that up. I probably should have minus Tamio and just grabbed a land before, but then of course the Tamio would be dead right now.
We need land. There's got to be jade lights in here somewhere. Or not. Right on schedule. I'll protect you. There's no lands in here. So yeah, if uh, so, since we're we're deciding which one to play, I would also like y'all's input. So if there's if there's any of these decks that you like more than others, feel free to vote. Trust me. Uh, right I there, I put it. There's the link in the chat there. Um, exclamation point vote five. can get you that straw poll of what deck you want me to play this weekend. I don't I don't know if I have any lands left. We just milled them all over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've only milled over 10. All stories must end. <clears throat> Even with all that exploring and stuff, we just didn't find lands. And then Tamiyo took up mill over four. It's pretty unfortunate. Our opponent just has so much more mana than us, they just get to do so many more things than us. It's going to be hard for us to compete. Well, I just got to hope they don't have another mass manipulation, I suppose. They have three in the graveyard right now. I'm only going to be able to get two branch walkers with a command the dread horde. If it does resolve, that is. Have you ever seen zero jade lights in Arthur? Top 35. What aspect of magic do you think is the most difficult to become proficient at? So either mulliganing or sideboarding. Probably one of those two. The land shall conquer you. There's a jade light. Be countered. This is, as I've talked about so many times, the most important thing in standard is having all this mana. Like whoever spends more mana is going to be winning. They're just spending so much more mana than us every turn. We can't really compete. You can't. You can't miss all those land drops like we did. All right, not a good showing for four-color Dreadhorde. Not a good showing for it. I think the Phoenix decks are pretty strong. I think that they are... Um, more difficult to play... Than, than like your average standard deck. And I think a lot of people uh, make some mistakes whenever they play them, but I think they are quite strong. I mean, we have good mana. Just kind of have to keep good mana with this deck. 
I'm thinking the Vraska avatar is not helping out. We switched avatars over to Vraska today and not helping us. <laughs> Ajani um, did awesome for us yesterday. Just winning all of our matches. And Jace was really good the day before. Not helping here, Vraska. All right, Midley, I did keep a, a slow hand. I'm going to draw an explore creature or a three manta fairy or, you know, something to do. It was a risk. We drew two awful cards. Two cards we already had in our hand. find my notes helpful. Gotta meet this group convo. We draw a ritual of sit. Nope. Yeah, I think white is a whole lot better than red in this deck. I think Teferi is a lot better than what you can get with red. These, these, this, this. Um, Bronte's not bad. Bronte can just block for us. I want to trim a couple of those, trim a couple of these. Um, let's see. I do like how Teferi can get rid of Rekindling Phoenix. I, I do like that. Do I trim another one of those? Maybe I don't bring in Bronte. Bronte does block pretty well. All right, let's try this. Those two cards that we drew five copies of, we're taking five copies out of the deck. The Tamiyos and Command the Dread Hordes, that was like our whole hand last time. We're going to be taking those cards out. So our hand should look different. It does look different. Uh, if we're going to have six lands, I like the double interplanar beacon. They have it. Dang. All right, Doom Waffle, have a good day. Have a good day at work there. The. The MCQ on Arena is its exactly that. It's a Mythic Championship qualifier. It's the people the last two months that were in the top thousand of Mythic were qualified for it. And we got there last month, so we're 
qualified for the tournament. I guess I should have... I guess I'll go ahead and play like this beacon here so that if we draw another Planeswalker, we can have another beacon. And we can gain two. And playing out this Wild Growth Walker. And letting it get burned. Not a, not a good strategy. We're going to just hopefully draw a Jade Light. We are pretty dead, though. Admittedly. <clears throat> the six, the keep the six lander draw spells plan did not work. You can probably tell how I'm just kind of tired of this deck by keeping that six lander. So I think Selesnya is better against aggro, but Bant is better against mid-range. And I think there's just a lot of mid-range in the format right now. A lot less aggro than there was a couple weeks ago. I'll be streaming my end, Broken Controllers. Yeah, I'll, I'll be streaming myself playing it at 10. It's It may go quickly, it may, may not go quickly. You know, we'll have to see it's it's play until you win eight or lose two, whatever happens first. <laughs> Thanks, Shackle Shackle. And then if you get there then you then you make day two. We're drawing this branch walker now. Alright, I'm off this deck. Hey, Blue Jin. I'm off it. It's definitely not a bad deck. We just didn't... Like... I don't think this is a bad deck or anything like that. I still think it's one of the very best, if not the best deck in the format. We just... That doesn't mean that you win every single match or anything, though. Um, the metagame is definitely adapting to it. You know, everybody's becoming a little more prepared for it. Um, no, I'm not worried about Stream Snipers. Um, it's just, it can happen, it's whatever. But no, I don't, I'm not too worried about that. Um, yeah. So, we, we got Immortal Sund. Uh, both of my, both of my hands against the green-red opponent there that last time were horrific. I should have mulliganed both of them. I mean, as, as you can tell, I just, I was pretty disinterested in, in <laughs> continuing with this deck by that last match. I, I kept two horrible hands and we just weren't competitive at all. So you can't blame that on the deck. You, you, that's my fault. That's not the deck's fault. Um, and then, yeah, we got Immortal Sun two games that killed us. And then the Mass Manipulation deck just stealing all my stuff. That got me the other time. So basically Immortal Sun and Mass Manipulation, those are some cards that, that can get you for sure. Those are some really powerful top-end cards, and they got us there. Um, but yeah. Um, I think we'll move on to our other choices here. So, oh well. All right, so that's Four Color Dread Horde. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> Hope you learned some stuff, even though I kind of just threw away that last match and um, wasn't competitive in it. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.